For centuries, many women have wanted to pinch and cinch and squeeze themselves into an hourglass shape. Actors like Jessica Alba and the Kardashians have brought on a brand new interest in waist training. When women wore corsets like this in the 1700s, they didn't have medical technology to find out if the pulling it in practice was safe. We do now. Dr. Oz's show that airs on Fox 26 shared a real wake up call. He conducted CAT scans before and then while a woman wore a waist cinching device, she did suck in two inches, but at what cost? The diaphragm, see up there? Yes. They're pushed up about two inches compared to over there. The other solid organs, the liver, gallbladder, the kidneys, you know, they're all pushed up. There's a kidney right here. It's mm -hmm. pushed up with the corset here, squeezing everything to go up. Wow. It's also squeezing all your intestines, mm -hmm. stomach over here, and they point something out that I was really stunned by. Okay. You see the little indentations here in the liver? Yes. See the little, they're not over there. See the liver over there is smooth? Oh, These yeah. These are little, 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 little bites here. Right. Yeah, that's the rib cage literally being shoved into the side of the liver. Wow. I never actually imagined that these corsets would do that. We talked to a local plastic surgeon from Kelsey Siebel Clinic about how it can become a troublesome trend when taken to extreme. You can cinch the diaphragm and also the lungs in order, and, and that would cause a difficulty with people breathing and decreasing their exercise tolerance. Um, people will also have an increased chance of having gastric reflux disease. It can, uh, it can also cause constipation. Can you physically change the inches of your waist just by wearing one of those devices without dieting, without exercise, without changing your lifestyle. Is that physically possible from your expertise? I don't think you can do that permanently. Uh, there may be the chance of decreasing your waistline by a few inches or so, but I do not think that extreme um, adjustments to the waistline can happen um, just by doing waist training. And I think it's important for people to go back to the things that do work. Um, and that's eating a healthy diet and uh, participating in regular exercise. Dr. Bullock believes cinching the waist in moderation, though, is probably safe. He believes the health hazards happen when a woman wears a device night and day tightly for months, even a year. We headed over to Top Drawer Lingerie in Uptown Park, where a brand new shipment of waist trainers has just come in because of the corset craze. With the trend now with the fuller bottom and a small waist, it, it's become more popular, I would say, in the last year. Even workers at the stores who sell the products say moderation is key. To be so extreme, to move your organs and things like that, common sense is key here. Um, it's a beautiful thing to create your shape and your body and you can do that through exercise you can do that through shapewear this is called the squeam just don't lace it so tight that you scream this is the waist trainer that everybody's talking about that they want to get that perfect hourglass and you know make their waist look appear a lot smaller you have the zip up back where you have the front where you can cinch it. This type is considered the beginner stage. Almost like the starter kit. But all of them do come with suggestions at top drawer. What goes on in our dressing room stays in the dressing room, but <laughs> we do teach you how to do this and it's it's really it's it's pretty self-explanatory. The question now is, will the guys notice an inch or two less around the middle? This married man doesn't think so. Beauty comes in all sizes and and you know, I, I think that beauty of a woman is, is where her heart's at more than more than how she shapes her body. There you have it, ladies. Many of our Facebook followers told us they benefited from cinching their waist for health problems like rheumatoid arthritis and even scoliosis. It's a good idea to find a doctor you're comfortable with to talk to about that. <laughs> Melissa Wilson, Fox 26 News.